Positive Coaching Alliance, Colorado with support from the Daniels Fund, is providing awards to double goal coaches. A double goal coach is one that strives to win while also placing great importance on teaching life lessons through sports. Today, we're pleased to give this double goal coach award to Coach Monica Johnson of Denver Academy. Monica is a cross country and track and field coach at Denver Academy. She's been coaching for 10 years. Hey, Monica, welcome to the show, and congratulations on being named a double goal coach by Positive Coaching Alliance Colorado. So, Monica, tell us a little bit about Denver Academy and the role of the cross-country program uh, within the culture of the school. Well, uh, Denver Academy is an independent private school for students with learning differences, and we have first through 12th grade. Our cross-country program uh, runs from the 7th to 12th grade, and it's really become an important part of our culture because... Um, The successes that they've had off campus have been shared throughout the school, especially um, by the administration. And these kids, their success has bolstered the confidence of the entire student body. We had a really great celebration where uh, when the kids went to the state meet, the entire student body came out and lined the pathway as the kids ran out to the bus to nice. leave for the state meet. It had, to be, it, it had to be nice for your, I mean, this is the first time, correct, that you guys had gone to the, mm-hmm. the state meet. Yeah, um, it was a, a huge achievement for the team, um, but our our administration made sure that the whole school knew what they had accomplished and what a big deal it was for that's, them. That's great. Yeah. Um, parents of your athletes say that uh, you as a coach will be remembered by the kids you coach throughout life, primarily for reasons other than running. When you hear comments like that, uh, what do they mean to you? Well, it's just a really great feeling to know that my kids are going to walk away from this experience with lifelong fitness habits, with happy memories, with lasting friendships, and knowing that they can achieve whatever they want in life through hard work. And if they can walk away with those things, um, that's as much as you can ask for as a teacher or coach. You know, a lot of people have different different ways at looking uh, at success. In your mind, what defines success for your runners at Denver Academy? I mean, how do you quantify success? Um, I call it showing up first. Um, And by showing up, I don't just mean um, attendance. I mean... Did you come with a good attitude? Did you come with your best effort? Did you do everything you could to support your teammates? And at the end of the day, are you ahead of where you started? Did you reach a goal or move towards your goal? And the goals are different for every every single student athlete because we're all different. Um, so as long as you're moving in the right direction and and feeling good about it, you've succeeded. What about um, when you hear things about your ability uh, and they, and parents call it a gift for meeting all the kids where they are and every one of your, every one of your athletes has uh, a different challenge. How, how do you go about meeting those athletes at, at various spots of their life? Um, it starts with the relationship. You have to know your athlete um, academically, what's their family life like. And, and of course there's the physical aspects of sport. Mm -hmm. Um, I let my kids know that where they are today is their starting point. And that's how we test their metal from where they are. And my fastest kid to, um, my first year kids who are just maybe joining the sport for fitness are going to be celebrated for their strides forward. Um, I make sure that all my kids know uh, what, where everybody else is at, kind of. So when I have a... Sometimes the kid that gets most celebrated at the end of the race is maybe not the fastest kid, but the kid who had to work the hardest just to get across the finish line. Mm-hmm. And the other kids will run with them to the finish and, and cheer for them. And they'll get the most props of the day because everybody knows that they had to work twice as hard as everybody else just to, just to make it through that 5k. Last couple of thoughts. What have you found that works for you as a coach in terms of handling disappointment or handling 
a setback? Well, even the seemingly worst experience can can benefit you if you learn from it. So I like to try to dissect the performance with a kid. Um, and sometimes it's something really simple that they may have missed or overlooked. It's something they can learn from that they're not going to do next time or change. Um, another part of it is that you have to create an atmosphere where your kids support each other. And many times um, I'll have an athlete that is really beating themselves up about a performance. And one of my older students will come and share their previous experience and say, hey, I've been there. And, and this is how you work through it. And look where I'm at now. And this is where you're going to be. And that's huge. And then the third one is always humor. Some of the worst gaffes that students make end up being the best stories that get passed down for years and years. Last thought, what, what process do you go about in trying to encourage students at Denver Academy to actually come out and run cross country? Oh, you never know who's going to be a great student athlete. So I don't just go after the kids that look like they're going to be my stallion. I want every kid to feel like they can reach their potential, that they have what it takes. Um, I'll harass them in the hallways. I'll call their parents. I send my minions out, my other kids. Go ask your friends. Ask everybody. Um, you never know who's going to be the next big thing. Um, and I, I started elementary school. I My elementary PE classes, um, I'm telling them what great athletes are going to be. I encourage them to participate in the middle school level. Once I get them in at middle school, I like sink my teeth into them and I don't let go. I, I want them to be part of it. And and I, it's really easy to do because when you start running, the gains are great. And so once you've got them hooked in, um, they're probably going to be a lifer. PCA's live workshops are opportunities for youth sports leagues and high school sports programs to provide their coaching staffs with fun, interactive training sessions that are full of tips and tools for creating positive character-building environments for young athletes. Thanks to Monica's award, Denver Academy will now be able to host a PCA workshop for coaches. PCA is currently accepting applications for its Triple Impact Competitor College Scholarship Program. A Triple Impact Competitor is one that makes themselves better, their teammates better, and the game better. If you know of high school-aged athletes that exemplifies the Triple Impact Competitor model, please encourage them to go to positivecoach.org and click on the link to apply.